forever and always. <laughs> Anyways, um, hi, my name is Perla Narvaez Castañeda, and I'm a freshman at Omaha South. <laughs> now, I do gotta warn you guys, this poem is like really personal, and it does have to do with uh, my sexual assault and how I deal with it afterwards. I might cry. I'm sorry if I cry, but I'll try to keep on going. It has been a week since it all happened. A week, and I foolishly thought that I would be fine by now. It's been a week. Yet I still wake up with nightmares. Mm -hmm. I can see you in my dreams, your wiry gray and black mustache, your wrinkled brown skin. I can smell the alcohol that has tainted your breath. Mm -hmm. And I can still feel your hands gripping onto my waist and my shoulders. It has been a week, and I foolishly believed that I would forget you. <laughs> there are nights that I wake up in a cold sweat, my waist and my back burning. It's as if your hands and touch became seared into my skin the second you touched it. There are nights where I cry and cry, tears dripping down my flushed cheeks and chest. I want to wail and scream and beg for my father to hold me, to protect me from you like he did the week before. Yet I sit, my mouth agape in a silent plea for help, a silent plea for someone to save me from the fear that your grimy hands and your horrid breath had chained me to. It has been a month now, and my initial shock has fled. I no longer wake up crying with fear. I instead wake up in silence. My body, it feels heavy and my back burns red hot with shame. I feel dirty, guilted, disgusted. I feel as if I had deserved what had happened to me. I feel like I am the one to blame. If I had stayed close to Apa, if I had pushed you away, if I hadn't frozen, then maybe things wouldn't have turned out this way. Maybe if my skirt hadn't hugged my hips and accentuated my waist. Maybe if my shirt hadn't seemed so tight around my breasts. Maybe if I didn't have this body, this wouldn't have happened. I learned to loathe my body. I learned to be ashamed of who I am. I learned to feel that I am dirty, impure, a disgrace. All because of your stupid hands and tainted words. It isn't until it's been half a year after the incident that I learned to embrace who I am. I learned to love my body once more. I learned to love the very things I once thought to be so horrible. I learned that I am beautiful. I learned that I should not hide. And I learned of so many other people who have gone through what I have. I learned to talk to my parents and my family. I learned to voice my inner thoughts. And I learned to no longer freeze. I finally know how to live again. I learn how to laugh and smile. I realize that some things just happen and they aren't my fault. But most importantly, I begin to realize that I am a survivor and not a victim. Yes. 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 Yes.